morning all hope you're doing well hope you're staying safe it's thursday may the 14th news today usual stuff us cases slightly down which is good florida cases down from that spike that we had a couple of days ago florida has now dropped to ninth place from eighth place texas has overtaken us in the rankings i'm not saying that's good but it does say that florida is doing pretty well universal city walk reopens at 4 p.m today i hope to be there for that opening and I'll bring you a video later tonight about my experience there. Disney usually cancels another week's worth of reservations in its hotels on a Wednesday. It didn't do that yesterday. So my 1st of June reservation still stands right now. I'll be keeping a close eye on that. Um, Disney owned stores are scheduled to open in Disney Springs on the 27th. Don't forget that there's only a very limited offer when it opens on the 20th. All Disney restaurants look like they're going to be open from June the 1st. I could make dummy bookings this morning for that. City Walk issued its guidance, its protocols for gaining, gaining entry to the park and while guests are in the park yesterday. What I didn't say is that it actually had a disclaimer on the bottom of that notice, so I've got you that. Um, Six Flags is the first US-based operator to tell its guests how they're going to be admitted to the park. They've got an online reservation system, so I've got that for you. And then finally, Orlando looks like it could be hosting a Major League Soccer summer tournament uh, with, with all 26 teams involved. So I've got news for that as well. So that's the news today. Before we go to it in detail, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll get this news six days a week right now when we're back in the parks i'll be back in the parks too bringing you that okay let's go to the news us daily cases yesterday was 21,712, down slightly on tuesday in florida yesterday we had 479 new cases for a long time florida has ranked number eight in the nation for the highest number of cases yesterday we were overtaken by texas universal city walk opens today at 4 p.m through 10 p.m I'll be setting off around 3 p.m. to hopefully get there for that opening, and I hope to post a video of my experience later tonight. We should also be posting on Instagram at Hit Parks. Although Walt Disney World Resorts are now only taking reservations starting from July the 1st, they have not yet cancelled any reservations in June. They have been cancelling week by week on a Wednesday, but they did not do this yesterday. Disney Springs begins its phased reopening on May the 20th with a limited offer, but from June the 1st it appears that all Disney dining will be available. Reservations can be made in the My Disney Experience app from 11am on June the 1st. Interviewed by The Hollywood Reporter, Eric Clinton, president of Union Unite Here, said that Disney-owned stores would reopen on May the 27th. In yesterday's video I explained what the operating procedures were going to be for Universal City Walks reopening today. I didn't point out the disclaimer on the Universal page called Important Information for Your Visit. They've highlighted there any interaction with the general public poses an elevated risk of being exposed to COVID-19 and we cannot guarantee that you will not be exposed during your visit. Six Flags is the first US-based theme park operator to put a new reservation system in place. This is an online system for all guests whether you have an annual pass or a day ticket. All guests have to select a date and time that they want to visit the park acknowledge that they accept the social distancing and sanitation procedures and order prepaid parking. Once the park reaches capacity, the guests can join a wait list and be contacted if somebody doesn't show up. I read that Six Flags are sending emails out to everybody on the morning of their visit to ask if they're still going. This will allow them to contact people on the wait list should spots open up. Six Flags has not yet given a date for reopening. Major League Soccer is looking to have a summer tournament featuring all 26 teams in Orlando. All games would take place at Disney's Wide World of Sports. No announcement has yet been made on whether fans would be admitted. Governor Ron DeSantis yesterday gave his ringing endorsement to this. US cases and Florida cases both down. Good news. I'm not saying we're out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination, but anything that takes us in a downward trend is good. Um, Florida now is behind Texas in total number of cases reported. So Texas seems to be spiking a little bit, but it does mean that Florida must be doing something. And we're down to 400 and something cases again yesterday from the almost thousand that it was the day before. So I'm hoping that was just a spike and that we can keep this, this 400, 300 and downwards trend into phase two. No announcement yet on phase two. Don't forget that we opened phase one on, uh, on May the 4th, which means that we could open phase two on May the 17th. Sorry, May the 18th. No announcements have been made yet. 
if we do open phase two, when we do open phase two, that means that restaurants will, and stores will be able to open at 75% capacity rather than 25% capacity that they can open right now. Disney did not cancel these reservations for June the 1st yesterday. Mixed feelings on Facebook about whether that's just a blip at Latin today, and I still think it might, or whether they will actually open the resorts on June the 1st. I think that is dependent highly on whether we move into phase two. I think if we can move into phase two, then there's real potential for the resorts opening on uh, on June the 1st. That's both Disney and Universal. So I'm gonna keep a really close eye on that. Obviously, if my reservation gets binned, I'll tell you about that. At Disney Springs then, all Disney stores look like they're going to open on May the 27th and I think you know, from May the 20th we're going to see a gradual reopening of all stores in Disney Springs and then on June the 1st all Disney restaurants are going to be open so maybe by June the 1st Disney Springs is pretty much going to be as it was before only at a limited capacity. Now again if we're into phase two by that time uh, and we should be on June the 1st then 75% capacity for restaurants in Disney Springs and stores in Disney Springs means that Disney Springs will be opening almost as normal, only with social distancing and other protocols in place. City Walk's disclaimer, I did mention that after I published the video yesterday, I did mention that, so sorry I didn't bring you that yesterday, but here it is today. They're definitely doing away with all lawsuits that might come their way if anybody says I caught COVID-19 while I was at Universal City Walk. Disney, I'm sure, will do the same, and City at uh, uh, Universal's Parks will do the same. I'm sure Bush Gardens will do the same as well, and SeaWorld. Six Flags, then, the first US operator to put guest attendance protocols in place. This looks very similar to what's happening at Shanghai Disneyland. Even AP holders have to go on and, and log into the site, tell them when they want to go, what approximate time they want to go, and then Six Flags are going to email them on the day that they're supposed to be there and say, are you still coming? And if they say no, then they're going to open up slots to people on the waiting list. Good, good system, I think, and I'm sure that's going to be followed by Disney World and by Universal here in Orlando. It's just a matter of time. Six Flags haven't stated when they're opening up, by the way. That was just their reservation system that, that is, is going to go into operation when it comes online. And then finally, the MLS saying that there could be a summer tournament in Orlando featuring all 26 teams. Don't know how that might play out yet, whether it's, it can't be a straight knockout. I guess it, it's going to be a round robin, a kind of World Cup format. Um, groups, um, then some kind of 16, probably that's 16, 8, 4 and a final. All to be held at Disney's um, ESPN Wild, Wide World of Sports. No clue yet as to whether there's going to be any fan attendance in that or whether it's just for TV. Again, we're going to be in Phase 2 in June, um, maybe Phase 3, so that there could be a limited attendance with social distancing. I guess that would be nice. So that's the news for today. Um, again, very positive, I think. Nothing, nothing negative anyway. So we're heading towards City Walk opening tonight. I'll bring you that video later tonight, whatever time that is. Look out for that. And uh, hopefully it'll be an enjoyable experience. So until tomorrow, take care, stay safe. See you then. Bye-bye.